It's so very easy to set me off. Well, it's not true. Well, yes, it is true, but it's not true. See, the thing is, uh, we had, well, let me just explain. We had an international coffee hour. International coffee hour is by the, uh, it was supposed to be, uh, oh, it says the International Affairs Office, International Coffee Hour. Oh, supposed by the International Affairs and International Student Association. Who I didn't realize, so the headline is International Affairs Office. But the thing is, uh, the International Student Association to which I am, with what is my title, and like that, got my title right here, Public Relations and Recruitment Coordinator on that, uh, for that. We suppose that, you know, basically do the, do the deed. But um, they turned it, and they said, you know, it's coffee hour, you know. And, you know, so people are supposed to uh, mingle and have fun and all the rest of it, get to know each other and all the rest of it. So, well, you know, we had it in what's called the Senate Chambers, and this is a, this is a space where it's not conducive to, like, mingling. Because, you know, it's like a lecture, small lecture hall, like, it's called the Senate Chambers. They got, you know, they got the pictures of the, you know, of the, of the chancellors that have been in the past, including, you know, the first chancellors who came from, you know, that, that, that missionary kind of tradition, you know, so it's like a, a lot of Anglo people, then you have some Africans and stuff like that. Anyway, um, so it's really not like conducive for, for this. So, it's, so uh, it, let me just put it this way. The whole thing turned into a, basically a, 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 the best way I can put it, a, a gripe session. No, that's the way I call it. Yeah, the thing turned into a gripe session, and it was supposed to be a coffee hour. So it's all right because we had this thing scheduled. We had we had this whole schedule for this uh, for this thing, which we drew up. Uh, I drew up with, uh, with our special events coordinator. Uh, and then we ran the the office, and then they changed the program. Uh, you know, put the, anyway, what ended up happening is that it looked like the office was doing one of these things, you know. We had this entertainment, you know, we had people supposed to come by and do presentation entertainment. That's where they usually set it up. I, I wouldn't set it up that way, but I'm just a public relations guy, you know, and I'm just helping out, you know, the the, the office and, uh, and, and the special you know, activities person. Anyway, um, it's a tension grab session. But, you know, since I was scheduled, when I say I, I mean, you know, I had a group scheduled to do um, uh, the audio drama, you know, I said, oh, got spots, you know, I, I'm going like, oh boy, this thing is, you know, I got to do it. So, <laughs> so we, we had to do it. If you want to know how it turned out, look, I always have fun. These are like little things. They're not supposed to be some big production or whatever have you. So um, I post the, um, I post the link because I posted up on YouTube already. But here's the thing. The way the whole thing unfolded, I was a bit um, um, I'm perturbed, so to speak. So I, when I'm perturbed, or you know, when I see things that's not right, or whatever it is, I don't think I don't think uh, things are running right. What I do is I end up writing. So I wrote, I wrote two page thingy. You know, I'm not gonna read the thing to you, but uh, let me read the last the last bit here. You know, and when I write, well, when I write, I write it because the you know, writing is the highest form of consciousness. So I'm really thinking when I write. Then sometimes I even take the luxury. <laughs> Unlike Richard Wright, who just wrote one draft and said, yeah, deal with it, you know what I mean? I actually go back sometimes. Sometimes I run it past people or whatever have you. So anyway, I wrote this. And as you see, what I usually do when I'm writing, I always you know, put a little thumbnail photo of me on the thing so people know they're really, you know, I usually sign it, but they really know where it comes from. You know, it can't be perpetrating fraud. Kind of thing. Well, you could, but, you know, you'd have to. Anyway, um, so this is going to go out as an email, actually. Um, have a BCC list or whatever. But let me just read the last part. This last part, I have a bunch of things, but this, this is the last part. But this is the, well, this is the last part. Fox to the matter. Finally, know this. Slavery slash colonialism. I can't say that word. Well, that's because I came through the slavery tradition, not the African cl colonialism tradition. But anyway, slavery slash colonialism is the mistreatment of people. My takeaway from the session on Friday was that some of our number, international students, have been mistreated by this historic institution and the bureaucracy in which it is governed. Remember, we're an international African institution. We have a lot of, well, we have mostly African students uh, from other nations. And in our frustration to receive justice, I want to find that have a comma, I'm defining justice now. The guarantee no one is mistreated, that comes from Billy Fuller Jr., who I, you know, I'm a devotee of. Let me repeat that. In our frustration to receive justice, the guarantee no one is mistreated, 
they are demanding, meaning the students are demanding the committee, the committee to which, I'm, uh, to which they gave their votes of confidence. I was voted in to this committee, right? Function to a higher degree than they have witnessed thus far. In other words, committee has been standing for what? Four or five months and we've done very little. As public relations and recruitment coordinator, I have heard and hear their cries and am committed to do what needs to be done to remedy their and my anguish. You know, as a service Anthony, you know, public relations coordinator, University uh, International Student Association, Historic University of Fort Hare. So there you have it. Now here's, here's, you know, we have strategies and tactics, but forget all that, forget all that. I'm sitting on a committee. I was elected by students. Like, for me, you know, and I there's certain things that have happened with the committee that I, you know, I, I took issue with, and I, and I, you know, I wrote my little stuff, and, and then people, I've gotten whatever, whatever, back and forth. But here's my posture. Here's the way I operate. Just, just to be very known. I've been elected to do a job. I'm going to do that job. I don't care what anybody else is doing. So I'm going to go. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to do this job to maximum. To the maximum. I do not care what the office is doing, what the other committee members are doing, what the other, you know, whatever destination, it doesn't matter. I have a task to do. I've defined my task. And as I do my task, I find, just like just like in academia, I find that I have I discovered there's other things that need to be done. So I can't wait. To, you know, to adjust for somebody to, 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 to uh, I'm going to say, catch up to me. I can't adjust for, for that thing. I have to actually do what I'm supposed to do, find out what else is need to be done, and do that. So that's where I stand. And that's what's happening. Just just to let you know from, from, from me, T, from the Patterson Signature to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.